welcome to another episode of Creatives on the Couch. And today we're joined by Patrick O'Hare. You like to be called Paddy, don't you, Patrick? Yeah, that's okay. fine. Okay, yeah. all right then. So let's get straight in. I can't believe we've got Patrick. Hello. Yeah. Hiya. You all right, love? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm all right. It's nice to see you. Look at your shoes. Yeah. What's th they're very... Um, C3PO. 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 Anthony Daniels would love them. What's yeah. on the back? I've just noticed. Yeah, it's C3PO there. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Has he seen them? Did Hope you wear them? Hopefully one day. <laughs> I, did, I did write him a letter um, last week. Oh, last week? Really? Yeah, in wow. the hope that he'll uh, come and talk to us for the film. So. Oh, that'd be absolutely mm. amazing. Crossed. That'd be amazing. Yeah, you have met him a few times though, haven't you? I've never... He's the only one I've never met. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Out of all the Star Wars people, he's pretty much the Were only one. Were you not at XL when, when they did Celebration Europe with Simon mm. Williamson? Because he, he walked on stage and yeah. um, I'd got my elbow on, on the thing and as he walked by, he tapped the elbow and he went, elbows off the table, darling. <laughs> 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 I was like, this is amazing. That sounds like Anthony, yeah. <laughs> Elbows off the table, darling. It's just so fun. So, I mean, you are you are Mr. Star Wars. Everybody knows you as Mr. Star Wars. How did all that start? What, what, you know, what, going right the way back? Very, very early. So, I think I was like two or something when I saw the first Star Wars. Um, and then by three, I was like, I re specifically remember watching Empire Strikes Back at the cinema. And like, I remember it as in, like I was, all the kids were singing the Star Wars theme song when it came, when it, when it came on. Maybe it was just me, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I specifically remember that. Yeah, so it just kind of went from there. But like in school, you know, everyone wanted to be Luke Skywalker. Yes. Mm. But the minute I saw Star Wars, I just immediately identified with Han Solo. I was like, that's the dude. Really? So whenever we would play Star Wars, I was always Han Solo and Who ever, you? you know. Nobody. I, I was always Star Darth Wars. Vader. I was always. <laughs> Where you? I used to wear a long black cape. I can't imagine that. I, I can't imagine it. that. No. Ta da! Reason a cape. <laughs> Never. <laughs> um, so he started there, really, and that and that's that started the Harrison Ford thing, and then, you know, I saw Raiders at like my fourth birthday party or something. All my, all my mates came around from school. We watched it on video. It's probably a pirate. Um, and uh, and it took me a few years before I was like, hang on a minute, that's the same guy. Oh. And it was like, whoa, it was like such a, an, epif an epiphany, you know. But what? And then, um, easy for you to say. <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> yeah, and then, then I, you know, then I tracked down these other movies and, and watched them and then, you know, so it's been... Nearly four years that I've been a fan, really. My gosh, that's a long time. It's Completely amazing. Like... And you've brought a whole lot of stuff here today. I brought a few bits. So I can't wait to get stuck We're in. We're going to dig into <laughs> everything. So what is it about Star Wars that you love? What 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 do you think the... And the longevity of it as well. Mm. Yeah, I mean, oh. it's difficult to say. I think, I think you know, in retrospect, it, it must be that it's just that classic tale of good versus evil. And it's like, you know the farm boy who becomes a hero and, you know, but certainly in terms of like Han Solo, you know, I think he set the mold, like Harrison Ford set the mold for what I would like about characters later on was like, you know, the cocky, sardonic hero who's ever so slightly out of his depth, right? but just manages to sort of deal with it by being cocky. And cool. And cool. And I think that, I think I've always identified with that. So, you know, years later when you would watch other stuff like, you know, Tony Stark, you know, it's, it's, mm. it's that same kind of thing. It's like, you know, I've got this sorted, mm. but I'm probably in a lot of trouble as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah. And you, I mean, well, you are just obsessed with it, aren't you? You're, it's like, it's your life. Well, that's, that's how the documentary came about, really. Mm. So... In 2016, that's Finding Ford, the documentary, folks. Oh. FindingFord.com. Um, I uh, I came up with the idea in 2016 because around that time, a lot of people were sort of making fan films. It was like, you know, how, how they're celebrating their fandom and there was people making kind of Star Wars-based uh, fan films and stuff. And I was like, that market's clearly flooded. Mm. You know, I'm not going to touch Star Wars as much as I love it. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there. Um, so I was like, well, what's the obvious thing for me to make a film about? And Harrison Ford was the obvious choice. So I came up with the title, um, did a few bits of filming on my own, uh, which wasn't altogether successful. And then in 2019, 
Um, Steve Pillion, who's the director, came on board. Um, we sort of hit the ground running. Um, we did a little thing at a Blade Runner event in Liverpool, uh, which was November 2019, which was great. Um, and then COVID. Uh, so, yeah. you know, we lost two years. And then uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't have planned a better next day's shooting because we went to... We heard Indiana Jones 5 was being shot in the UK. I'm just going to get laid down ready for this. Yeah. <laughs> um, wow. And uh, they were using doubles and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there was no... There was word that Harrison was around, but he'd not done any filming yet. So we were like... I said... Look, it doesn't matter. Let's go down to Whitby for the. We knew that they were shooting at this train station in Whitby, mm. so I said, "Let's just go down anyway." It's my dream to to be on the set of Indiana Jones, uh, <laughs> an Indiana Jones film, yeah. you know. And in fact, it was really strange. I had this conversation with uh, my partner Gina like about a few weeks before, and I said, "You know, my dream is to meet him on the set of Indiana Jones in costume." Mm. And she said, "But isn't meeting in the dream anyway?" And I was like, "Yes." <laughs> But in costume is the thing. Anyway, so cut to July 2021. Yep. We're in Whitby, waiting around. We've seen parts of the set. We've seen this train with the Nazi emblems on, all that stuff. We've seen a couple of helicopters land. And I was like, mm, could this be it? So we'd been running around all day in the hat and I'm sweating buckets. And I was like, let's just go and have a pint. So we go to the pub and have a pint right at this crossroads where they're shooting, um, the, the, the shooting on the other side of the railway station down there. Sat there having a pint, this uh, black SUV turns up, James Mangold, the director, gets out, walks in, and I was like, I'm just gonna grab my photo now and just go and stand over yes. there. Yes. So I go and stand over there, another SUV rolls up, the doors open, Kathleen Kennedy. That's the Lucas one. Film, <laughs> yeah. Walks away, I was like, oh my God, it's the boss. Yeah. So she walks above me, I'm like, hi Kathy, how, how are you? She's like, yeah, I'm fine. I said, can we get a picture? She's like, sure. So we get a picture, and I'm about to say to her, you know, I'm making this documentary. But yeah. as I turn round, Harrison Ford stood there in costume. Oh, wow. And I'm just yes. like... Yes. <laughs> I, I managed to get just enough semblance of sanity together to go, can you sign this? <laughs> <laughs> Not that I have been following you around the world my entire life. Yeah, I've only been waiting for this moment 40 years. Uh, so, and he signed it. And he took the pen... And he handed it back to me, looked me dead in the eye, gave me the Ford finger and said, you'll have to wait for the film. Sorry, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got it on camera. We've got it on camera. And uh, I'll show you the... Well, I, I remember... Don't you remember? I rang you and I literally screamed. <laughs> screamed. Did you? You did. I it? just couldn't believe it. I, he, he's, I mean... Paddy and I have been friends for so many years and it's been like a dream of his, believe me. There you go. Oh that was God. it. Which oh. was nice. Very nice. So there you go. Wow, I, I, I do, I just... I and remember. I had this on as well. <laughs> <laughs> so where did you get that from? Is there a yeah. backstory? This, hat? yeah, this is, um, so you see it's this adventure built on the inside. Mm. This hat was actually made for me by a guy called Steve Delk in Mississippi, who made the hats for Harrison Ford in the fourth film. So it's as close to the, to the, yeah. to the real thing. It's modelled after the Crystal Skull hat, so it's, it's the same kind of specifications of that, but it was tailor-made for me. So you can imagine waiting for like six months while it's being made, mm. and then finally one day the box arrives and you open it, it's like, here. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> well, it, it's just incredible. Like I said, I, I, I saw it on online that I knew that Paddy was going down um, to to try and um, and get onto the set. But the second that I saw with Harrison, well, I just went insane for you, didn't I? Because <laughs> yeah. I know how much he's wanted yeah. this. But then lots of pictures were released, weren't they? Like. If you go on Google of him stood, you're yeah, stood right the behind him. Oh, you're yeah. joking. He's literally, and I was like, oh my days, oh my days, oh my days. And all these pictures. There was a bit of a thing to that. I was yeah. slightly annoyed. And because, you were right there. Because somebody sent me that, uh, that picture and I posted it in our group on Facebook and mm. said, this is just for you guys. Yeah. Next minute, it was everywhere. everywhere. Oh, wow. Yeah. So somebody okay. passed it on to yeah. Jedi News or something. I know it had gone everywhere. We spoke it, about it, that. So it leaked, week. but. So that was the last time I did that. Yeah. <laughs> if you go onto the blog on the Finding Ford website, you'll see that all the p pictures from that day 
our watermarked until we <laughs> until we deliver yeah. the documentary. Well, it, it kind of it, it was building up because I was looking at it, and then I, I saw I was like. Kathleen Kennedy, legend. Yeah. Oh my days, look where he is. And then I just had a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> I just had squealed I think, with excitement. I, think I cried on the phone to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a <laughs> bit. Yeah. So, should, uh, right, going, obviously, aside from Han Solo and Indiana, yeah. what are the films? Give us your top five. Well, my favourite film of all time is Blade Runner. Yeah. Um, so that's a big movie for me. Um, see if you but see in terms of like favorite characters outside of that, um, and I think it's an important film to him. Mosquito Coast, I would probably Great say, film. is is like one of his greatest performances. Witness, of course, which he was the only film he was nominated for Oscar okay. for, didn't win. Um, Go on, say it. See if you say my favorite. Frantic. No. no. Go on. Regarding Henry. I love regarding her. Everyone yeah. loves a Ritz biscuit, don't they? <laughs> yeah, Let's yeah, go yeah, to the Ritz, yeah, yeah. everybody. My favourite, aside from Indiana Jones, of what he did, which I think he was spectacular, was What Lies Beneath. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone knows I'm a horror fan for that one, but Six Days, Seven Nights with Anne. Yeah, that was good. Good film. But, um, yeah, the, the, the good thing about uh, What Lies Beneath was that it was so unexpected. Like, have spoilers. I have, I have. Spoilers, guys. Terrifying. It turns out to be the bad guy. He's never done that before. Terrifying. And I think that's why it was so great because that yeah. was the last thing. He's always the hero. He was the last thing yeah. you were expecting. You know when he puts um, Michelle Pfeiffer into the bath? Yeah. And she's laying there. Oh. Yeah. And he just turns it on. Uh, yeah. And then it's getting higher. And yeah. you're like, it's the end of Jones, can't do this. <laughs> ah! It's great. Yeah. And when you are going over the bridge, and I mean, well, I nearly jump out of my seat every time with that. When she's trying to get signal on the phone, yeah, Look at yeah. Me. you can Pro see it now. Proper, proper fan yeah. girl in here, aren't I? Big time. Get, I, I, but you know, I love him. I think he's it's a so great talented. time to be a Harrison Ford fan, really, because he's revisited all those classic characters. He came back. He did Star Wars again. Yep. He came back. He did Blade Runner again. Yep. You know, uh, he's he's going to do Indiana Jones again. That's coming out next year, um, and. It's not been confirmed yet, but a little rumour recently was that he's going to be joining the MCU. So he's going to be in Marvel too. He loves that Disney he's, dollar. He's, <laughs> he's, 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 he's filming right now at the moment. Is it Yellowstone he's doing yes. at the moment with Kevin? Very excited about that. Well, technically it's not with Kevin. So Yellowstone, uh, the series, is with Kevin. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you shortly just after this. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go for a break right now. Put the kettle on. We'll be back in two minutes for more tales of Harrison Ford with Paddy O'Hare. Welcome back to Creatives on the Couch with Paddy O'Hare. Hey. hey. So, Yellowstone. So, Yellowstone, yeah. yeah. So, it's the biggest show in the US. Kevin Costner's the star. Um, they've done a prequel series, which is called Yellowstone 1885 or something like that, which is like about his great great grandfather or whatever. Now, they're doing the, sh the series of the shoot, shoot at the moment, Harrison Ford and Helen Mirren, is Yellowstone 1932 or 35 or something. Okay. So Harrison would be playing like Kevin's great great granddad or something like that. Right. So, that's so it's different doing. type. It's the yellow Yellowstone verse or the Dal the the, Dal the Dalton verse, I suppose you would call it, because it's about the Dalton oh. family. They did that with Murder She Wrote. And I've always yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Um, Angela Lansbury legend, but yeah, they did. Yeah, I've um, I've always wanted to see. I'm a big Costner fan as well, but I've always wanted to see him and Harrison together. But so it's a shame they won't be sharing screen, screen so. together, but. Have They're in the Costner? same universe. No, no, no. I haven't met Costner. Mm. I don't Still on the list. Mm. Yeah, he came to lunch at yours, didn't he? He came to mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never get next week. Never wiped his feet at the door. Oh, of course not. <laughs> no. I don't care though. It's just like feel the dreams. <laughs> Stand with Costner. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> so, I mean, Carrie Fisher, she's bless her beautiful heart, our princess. She's right at the side of you there. Yeah. Look at that picture. Wow. That is just love, spectacular. Love to Paddy, my one true love and sex partner, Kerry Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> I hope you're getting this at home. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I met her in London Film and Comic Con. Yes. And I got this picture picked out, obviously, Princess Leia in the gold bikini. 
and you know what it's like at these things, the star at that level, it's like a production line, you know. Yeah. So I end up in front of her, she's got the picture, she doesn't look up yet, she just says, uh, who's it to? And I said, Kerry, it's to Paddy. Uh, but I thought, I'm going to get her attention somehow. Yeah. So I said, but I want you to write something really naughty. And she looks up with this glint in her eye and she goes, okay. And she writes this. <laughs> <laughs> and I just went to jelly. Like it's one of the one of the two times I've been starstruck, I was just like, I don't know what to say. Oh, wow. wow. And the which, which where's the, the picture? I mean you've got some oh, the amazing, picture, yeah, amazing yeah. pictures. I mean, if any of you guys follow Paddy online or you know the finding Ford, there's an incredible selfie. You've not got it with you today, but he's got the I've most got the selfie, amazing look. selfie there's with the... Warwick Davis and and Car do you know I nearly killed Warwick Davis? What? Seriously, <laughs> seriously. And do you know, um, he even remembered it the last time that I saw him. Yeah. Again, we were doing um, a, a con, I was doing the Q&A on the stage. And as I ran up, I was with my friend Martin, and as I ran up on the stage, he was stood there and I hadn't seen him. And as I ran up, the lights were like, I knocked him flying. Oh no. So he went bang, and Martin turned to me and went, oh my God, you've killed Willow. <laughs> And the boy Davis lay there. Ah. <laughs> and I was like, I am so. I knocked him flying. Really but I, I do this quite a lot because I knocked Peter Capaldi down the flight of stairs as well at Euston train station. As you do. He got a piece of art. I tried. I said, Do you want me to help you? Yeah. He said, No, I'm absolutely fine. I said, Can we do a selfie? Caught the artwork on my leg, <laughs> spun him round, and he went down these video <laughs> skeletons. <laughs> I'm getting a reputation for killing people. Selfie's not going to happen. So no. there's the picture. <laughs> There's me, Kerry, and Gary the dog. Oh, Look at lovely. that. And do you know what was wow. great? Because the, the photo was later in the day, so when we got to the, the photo time, um, you know, she, she grabs my face and puts my head on her head, and I was like, oh my God. Wow. And there's just about, as I was just about to take the picture, I said, Kerry, it's me, you true, one true love and sex partner. <laughs> <laughs> and she stopped for a minute, and she went, oh, that's what I wrote to you. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, couldn't keep it together. Yeah. Sadly, somebody we won't be able to speak to for the documentary. But you know, we have spoken to some legends. We spoke to the legendary producer Robert Watts recently. Um, you know, we spoke to other actors. Uh, next month, we're going to London to shoot a few, a few more things. We're going to speak to a couple of Indiana Jones stuntmen and stuff like that. Wow. So we're just trying to build up. The ladder, you know, yeah, if we get yeah. to speak, Stephen, George, if you're watching, I want to speak to you too. If it happens, you know, Mark it happens, Hamill. but, oh, Hamill would be great. Have you got the picture, you and him? Oh, yeah, that let's too. do that. That's amazing, oh, wow. yeah. Okay. Right. right, so the picture of you and Mark, it's an amazing picture. It is, it was good fun. There we are, look. I was that. like, I was like, just climb on my back, Mark. <laughs> on his back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> He did that picture with Daisy Ridley. I was like, yeah. "You be Yoda, that, come yeah. the back. Let's point it to middle That's distance." Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the one before, I was stood oh, next to you on that one. There's your I? mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you were there. I, literally, yeah, because yeah, um, I interviewed Robert okay. England and okay. um, and Paddy was there, so we did that picture, That's didn't right. we? Even screaming oh and shouting. Oh, there's Rutger Hauer. How yeah. many pictures do you have in total? Do you think? Because this is just phenomenal. Well, this yeah. this is just like a small selection of really of stuff. Wow. Yeah. Um, do you remember? Do you remember the interview with Robert? When he yeah. turned into Freddy Krueger. Yeah, yeah, it was Literally, great. Yeah. We, we'd gone and uh, they hadn't told me who I was interviewing, do you remember? And we was doing it for, for a show, Geek Pride Television. And um, they hadn't mentioned at that point until they sat me down and he was there and he literally didn't in front of me, turned into Freddy Krueger, yeah. grabbed hold of me and went, oh, on your nightmares. I'm yeah. like, oh my <laughs> days. He was great. Yeah, I just would have had a heart attack. I'm still scared of Freddy Krueger. <laughs> All he was oh. doing the he was doing the the fingers with the oh, knife yeah, like yeah. before the photos. He's doing them together like oh, that. Wow. We, we need to get, to get him on here. That would be yeah, amazing. Be well, I'd sit there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You sit on the other couch. Yeah. <laughs> Sleep kills. So we've got some bits and pieces here as well, haven't mm. we? We've got some little yeah. Items. So these um, I was lucky that um, a friend of mine actually made all of these items. Um, unfortunately, he's no longer with us, my mate Jed Cassily. He made the the golden idol, finished it himself in um, gold leaf. That's the idol from Razor Lost Art there. 
a little replica. He made this light set. This was actually the last thing he made before he died. Oh, wow. uh, you know, a, a great replica. It even lights up in the middle there. It's a little blue light. And this was his greatest work, I have to say. This is a, he spent months and months and months and months doing this with aged paper and writing little notes in there. So this is a, a replica, it's even, probably even better than the original prop because he wrote like letters from from Indy to his dad and stuff. So it's a, it's a full replica of the, um, of the Grail diary. Wow. Oh my goodness It's an amazing gracious. piece of work. But well, thankfully, his his, his, yeah. um, his wife uh, gifted that to me. In fact, she gave me this and this, and she was like, "I'm going to keep the Grail Diary, mm. Terry." And um, I said, "That's fine. I can understand that." Yeah. And then I ran into her and I told her the story about meeting Harrison Ford, mm. and she went, "I'm giving you the diary. <laughs> <laughs> Come around and get it." That's sweet. Wow. That's so, sweet. yeah. Wow. Treasure that. I was say. There you go. That is in. Incredible. So what else, you know, we've, we've, we've obviously Harrison Ford, you know, and Star Wars and Indiana, you know, your life. There's your music as well. Yeah. You're, you're a very, very well-known musician. I thought you'd bring your guitar. I did well, ask you. I need money first. <laughs> like John Lennon said one time, smile is the only thing we rehearse. <laughs> No, yeah, um, yeah, it's been my bread and butter for um, oh, nearly 20 years now. Mm. So, yeah, every weekend I'm at, well, I'll be out there tonight. Are you? Playing the guitar. And uh, it'll be nice, actually. It's at my local pub, so half the street will be there. It'll be absolute bedlam tonight. Wow. Mm. So, you did that in lockdown, it. didn't you? You were giving concerts out. Yeah. Not nice. doing it online. Stood online. in his, oh, in his wow. garden. Just, cool. Yeah, yeah. That was great. That really brought the community together. Community together, mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. it was, uh, that was really nice. Yeah. Because, you know, there was nothing to do but watch TV. Get fat. You know, I had a fried breakfast every day. <laughs> yeah, so did I. Yeah. But who cares? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And so you, you got... look in the mirror two years later, like... <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah, go back onto cereal. Dad as well. I'm a dad. Oh, my days. Yeah. Even, even Luna knows who Harrison Ford is. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy just loves Harrison Ford. <laughs> I've seen some of the outfits that, you, that you've, you've put her into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dressing her up. Yeah, ba Baby Eight was the first one. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Yeah. Gina dressed as Re that was the first time I'd actually promoted Finding Ford at an event. It was at uh, Sci-Fi Scarborough. Wow. Not done one since that, so I've just been kind of working on it really. Yeah. Um, so where, where do you want the documentary to go? What What would be your dream for, for Finding Ford? Well, there's a couple of different ways we can do it. We, you know, we can do it independently, or we can sell it to somebody. I mean, Netflix would be great, mm. uh, but you know, there's 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 different connotations to whichever way you do it. You know, do you want to retain control? Do you want to give control away? Yeah. So really, we just need to get it all in the can and then decide, you know, where it's going to go. Um, as I say, we're still actively shooting. Uh, we've got a wonderful composer who's written all original music, Andrew Barraclough. Um, we've just had a sound guy come on board. So, yeah, you know, we'll get more stuff in the can. Um, who, do you, who do you need to interview then? Apart, yeah, from, apart, from, <laughs> apart from the man himself. So we've got a few more Indiana Jones actors planned to happen. Um, and then possibly some international people, because mostly we've just done UK, because, you know... I'm, I'm producer and creator, so yeah. self self financing on a musician's wage is not always easy. Yeah. Um, so money, guys, if you're out there, give me a call. Um, so yeah, you know, we just crack on with it and uh, get as much as we can. Uh, I mean, yeah, if we can get the big stars, you know, if we can get the big co-stars and the big directors and stuff, great. Um, so how would you go about that? Because I mean, have you ever yeah. done anything like this? You know, have you? Not to this level, no. Well, as, it, as it stands, we've been kind of lucky in that, you know, we go to conventions and speak to people there, and then sometimes you get passed on to agents, so I'm dealing with agents or directly with the people. Um, so it just depends, really. If you can get, or, you know, you know somebody's going to see somebody like Anthony Daniels giving the letter, yeah. you know. Yeah. He's just smash and grab where you can, you know. Yeah. Uh, mm. We're just making it up as we go along, really, which is the, you know, the exciting thing about it. I love doing it. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's been a real eye opener, but the only slight frustration is is you know, 
it takes quite a long time. Yeah. It's like you can just, I wish I could shoot every weekend, but you know, I've got, when we do shoot, you know, I've got to clear the weekend of gigs and go, you yeah. know, right. travel. And, and just ring Harrison and say, look, I just really need you. <laughs> right now, <laughs> yeah. just to come and talk well, to me in Costa. Well, that's, that's, the, that's the hope, is that, obviously we've got the footage of me meeting him. Yeah. Which, you know, that's the end of the documentary. Or could it be the beginning? If we get to meet him again and mm. talk to him, mm. we start with that and we end sitting down speaking to him. Yeah. That'd be amazing. That's the dream. Mm. Mm. Hopefully. You've got, you got to keep dreaming. It's going to happen. It will. Of course it's, it's going, going to happen. happen. So what's next for you? You know, what, what comes next? Uh, well, yeah, so next month we're uh, doing a bit more shooting. Um, yeah, and then I guess, you know, into the new year. <laughs> Obviously, Indiana Jones is going to be coming out. Are you excited uh, about that one? Oh, just a little yes. bit. Do you reckon? Yes. Just a little bit. Yes! <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I'm hoping there's going to be a premiere or something that maybe we could uh, mm. jump down to the, and take a camera yeah, down there. Got to be, one, yeah. the Should we go with, with this show? We'll just sit there and we'll, we'll sort it yes. for you. Let's hit the red carpet. Let's do it. Yeah, creatives on the couch with Harrison Ford. Could you imagine that? Speak it into existence. <laughs> it will happen. You manifest it. it will That's happen. what I did. But you have clearly. I manifested yeah, you it. Have. Yeah. Bless Keep you. Keep dreaming. Brilliant. Yeah, you've got to do that. So, I hope you've enjoyed being part of our show. You Thanks very much. You? It's been lovely. Yeah. yeah. Bless you. Right, we're going to be back with another episode very, very soon. But from our gorgeous guest, my beautiful girl next to me, Paddy. Best of luck with everything. And if anybody wants to see what you're doing, how can they find you? Yeah, so check out findingford.com. All the links uh, there to our various social media. And you can check out blogs on the pl on the uh, interviews we've done before. And uh, please sign up. Yeah, mm. and if anybody's got any links to any of the stars of, of any of the movies, get in touch with him. Let's get him to Harrison Ford. Let's do it. Start a Just Giving group. <laughs> 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 we'll see you again for... More amazing people on Creatives on the Couch. See you soon. Bye-bye.